Hi everyone, welcome to Perfections, the channel that is all about perfume perceptions. Today we are going to talk about perfume oil. These are perfumes I bought in the past couple of months. Um, I'll probably need to split this video in two parts because otherwise there are too many. You know, I have a little problem with the shopping addiction with perfumes, which I need to work on. Uh, not now, before Christmas, there's no point, there are too many sales. We can see next year. It will be my next year, uh, you know, goal to reduce my perfume buying. Okay, let's start. Let's start immediately. What can I start with? I'll start with one that I don't see much spoken about. So maybe interesting for you. So this is a star by Mobile Sun. Look at the bottle. I think it's gorgeous. It's really gorgeous. I mean, what is this? What is this? Fantastic. This perfume is a, to a Tonka centric perfume. Uh, it has some iris touches and also it has some coconut touches and these are essentially the main most important things you don't smell coconut it's kind of some dry creaminess and you know the dry part of the iris a bit buttery like iris butter a bit coconutty you know like creamy and that's tonka overall now this beauty is pretty similar to another perfume let me show it to you which is Van Cleef and Arpels Bois Dore. Very similar. The, what I can tell is Bois Dore is more like on the tobacco. It's a bit darker. While Mobusan Star is a bit more feminine. Slightly creamier and powdery. And these are the main differences. So this is a steel I paid like, I think, 25 or 30 euros. I think full price is much more, but you can always find it on Amazon on, or at the mobile sun store at a very low price. Then, uh, what else? Then I have a bunch of perfumes. Okay, this is a Golden Gardenia by Joe Loves. This is for you that you loved Orchid Soleil. The only problem with this perfume is that you can only find it in uh, in UK and I think Ireland because Jo Malone cannot sell anymore her anything, any brand of hers outside of UK and I think Ireland as well. Um, because when she was um, sick with cancer, she thought she would die and she sold to a steel order uh, her company, Jo Malone London. And in the contract, they had some, you know, uh, there was an agreement that she would never, ever sell again her brand in the rest of the world. So that's why you can only find her brand, Jo Loves, in the UK and I think in Ireland, I think. So you can also find it in the shops in the UK, you know, like if you go to some high-end shops, you're going to find this uh, perfumery line. So this perfume is essentially um, resins, incense resins with gardenia. It's extremely, extremely similar to the best part of Orchid Soleil. And when I say best part, I mean that you don't get any camphorous start opening, you know, no mouth, no mouth balls in this one in the opening, not at all. It's bright because of the incense and then it mellows down on my skin and becomes almost this fluffy gardenia uh, lacking orchid soleil but less thick slightly less thick to me this one reminds me a lot of a uh, stargazer lily type of aroma but a bit like fluffy and uh, yeah, yeah a bit brighter I think it's a very good perfume. I really like it, but I, of course, I, since it's super new to my collection, I cannot tell you much more about it. But I think it's worth it's worth going there, and you know, when you when you are in the UK, if you happen to be there, just go and check it out. Then another perfume that's been very much hyped and for a very good reason. It's Barbary Goddess. 
As you can see, I have it since maybe a couple of weeks. I, I, I mean, I tested many a couple of months ago or more in the shops and I liked it immediately. Um, I mean, I, I wore it, you know, I sprayed on myself and I saw how it would evolve during the day. And I actually liked it. I don't think this is a performance issue. Probably many people get an osmic to it. So that's Barbary Goddess. I actually love it when I go to sleep because I love lavender and vanilla perfumes for sleeping. It puts me in the right mood. One of my favorite sleeping perfume is Mongarlan Antans. And uh, yeah, this one is uh, really beautiful. I think I really like the take on vanilla in the heart of the perfume. And Amandine Clef Marie, I think, is the perfumer of this one, and I really love her work. I think she's an amazing perfumer. And by the way, I just wanted to mention that I really appreciate Barbary for not raising their prices. And the same goes with Dolce & Gabbana. I think among the, in the designer world, they're the only ones that have been staying with the same price ranges, more or less. And it's also the evidence that the others, they didn't need to raise their prices. Just saying. Uh, then, what else? What else? Yeah, let me talk about this one. So this is, I think, one of the most hyped perfumes in the past year. And that's Baby Cat. So, I actually had a dupe for it, or for, Mateo, for Rosendo Matteo number five which is the Latafa Ishui Kalkyuk. I, I don't know how to, what's the name and how to pronounce it. I still have it, but I, I cannot wear the perfume. It gives me, it gives me like physical uh, itch in the throat. So I don't know what, what it is. The problem is that I also get it with the Ibsen Rang one. This was a blind buy. I got the smaller size of the two. But still, uh, I thought this was a perfect uh, perfume for me. And indeed, I really love the smell. I like leather perfumes, um, in this case it would be sweaty. How do you say it in English? It doesn't come to me, it's very late in the night. Anyway, let's say leather. And I like vanilla and I like incense. And, you know, that was a safe blind buy for me. It's not. It's not a safe blind buy. Please do not blind buy this one. It gives me physical itch in the throat as well as the Latafa one. A nightmare. A disaster. What I'm doing now, I'm letting it breathe. You know, like I just sprayed a few times and I'm, I will wait maybe next year and see how it goes for me. If it still is this bad, I'll sell it. I can't, I can't take it. I mean, maybe in two, three months I'll make a decision and say, okay, no, I'm going to sell it because... This doesn't work for me. And it's so annoying. I couldn't try it in the shops. So they carry the line, but this is always sold out. The tester is over, the, you know, the stuff like this. So, yeah, too bad. I guess that's not a safe blind by people. Don't blind by baby cat. And by the way, this is uh, from the line Le Bestier by Yves Saint Laurent, which is very interesting that such an expensive perfume can give itch in the throat to people. I mean, that shouldn't happen. I thought that La Tapa would because it's uh, cheap in comparison, but I think Yves Saint Laurent has to do something about it. This molecule needs to be substituted, whatever that is. And then another one for this video which is not much spoken about, so I think it's uh, good that I talk to you about it, because now you can find it. It's Scandal Gold by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Of course, the, you know, the bottle is gold, and it's an 80 milliliters bottle. And uh, it's really annoying because, you know, like, uh, it gets full of your fingers anyway. Uh, you know, you can't touch it or you get prints on it. So anyway, this one is the most interesting one on the Scandal line. It's still a designer perfume, so, you know, refined, elegant, well-balanced, nothing out there. But it could be a niche perfume as well. And that's interesting. So essentially what you're going to get here, it opens with cardamom and saffron. So it's kind of spicy, fresh. 
and it's also already you know the saffron has leathery components so it's kind of a bit slightly bit leathery then it depends on the skin on my partner he's a male and uh, yeah um, medium skin tone a bit maybe on the lighter side he on his skin this is a leathery perfume on my skin dry skin he doesn't have dry skin he has uh, oily skin on my skin dry skin this is a honey white flowers perfume with some hint of leather the leather is really in the background on my skin it's extremely beautiful super elegant very feminine love it and you can tell it's a scandal because of the strong honey note that pulls out on my skin on his skin is completely different so unfortunately this one at least in europe or where i live it's almost impossible to test so i had to blind buy it and i love it and i'm very happy i just tried it on my on the back of my hand so you know i need to do the full wear experience i'll tell you more in the future if i have a chance because you know i want to talk about my hundreds of perfumes to use so yeah we'll see but this is i think it's a very beautiful perfume i mean you know like you you can you can tell immediately whether you're gonna like or not a perfume or fragrance. And I really like this one. Uh, I find it elegant, as I said, honeyed, florals, plus a hint of leather. Beautiful, fresh from the spices, really beautiful. And this was done by Hamid Merat Kreshani. I'm not sure, probably, a, I'm sure I butchered his name, but he is one of my favorite perfumers ever. And uh, yeah is super good and I really like this creation of his. Then, is there a then? No, there's no more. I think we are done for today. I'll show you the rest of my perfume buys in the next video. Always another perfume haul. So see you soon. Bye!